Space exploration used to be the exclusive preview of superpowers like the US and Russia. However, during the past 20 years, the space race has transformed into a conflict between titanic billionaires. Private businesses are creating initiatives to compete with NASA, SpaceX, and Blue Origin. These businesses have succeeded in scaling the highest technological walls to reach the top. The two most well-known corporations in the space industry will have their development reviewed in this video. Welcome to Zone Tech. In this video, we are going to talk about SpaceX versus Blue Origin. Who will win the space race? So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. As World Population Review outlines, more than one dozen countries have space programs today, and a smaller subset are working together on ambitious projects like the International Space Station. SpaceX versus Blue Origin the discussion of non-governmental space exploration has been dominated by Blue Origin and SpaceX, both of which were established in the early 2000s. These businesses have made enormous progress in realizing what many would have viewed as a pipe dream. Let's examine the 20-year trajectory of these space business giants. SpaceX vs. Blue Origin Founding Blue Origin Former Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos established Blue Origin a business that seeks to democratize space travel? In 2000, he founded the business to open up access to spaceflight. Blue Origin began creating reusable rockets to reduce the exorbitant cost of space travel. The first single launch system in use was expensive and a barrier to mainstream space exploration. The corporation emerged from the shadows with a few successful launches after years of labor. The company has ambitions to launch rockets and go to far-off places even though it started slowly and has just reached the edge of space. SpaceX Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002. He was one of the most well-known individuals in the technology sector, and many people believe that he served as the model for Tony Stark from Iron Man. Musk founded SpaceX to lower the cost of space travel. Unlike Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Elon Musk has no intention of concealing his ambitions, which include colonizing Mars and building the first reusable spacecraft ever. SpaceX has established itself as a significant participant in the commercial space sector thanks to its reliable launch capabilities. For the Starlink satellite program, an effort to bring internet access to areas with limited connection, it launched 31 satellites in 2021. Blue Origin vs. SpaceX First Launch Blue Origin Blue Origin launched the new Shepard rocket from Texas on April 29, 2015. The journey, which reached a height of 307,000 feet and was named after Alan Shepard, the first American to fly into space, might have been a success if not for a significant issue. The loss of hydraulic pressure caused the rocket's propulsion system to malfunction. Due to the lack of recoverable propulsion systems on rockets at the time, this loss would not have been seen as a failure. Although losing a portion of their rocket was not as things were intended to go, the aim was to create reusable rockets. The test flight served as Blue Origin's starting point for the journey. After that, the business estimated that it would take some time before it could conduct suborbital flights. In actuality, it took them an additional five years to accomplish this goal. SpaceX SpaceX launched the Falcon 1 in its first test flight four years after the company's founding. Unfortunately, a fuel leak caused the flight to crash land. However, the spacecraft was finally launched into orbit the following year. In 2008, Falcon 1 was retired to make room for Falcon 9 after SpaceX demonstrated its ability to launch into space. The starship from Star Wars inspired the names of both Falcon rockets. SpaceX has made more than 80 flights and is regarded as a major player in contemporary spaceflight. Another Falcon 9 flight by SpaceX was successful in 2012. The Dragon spacecraft was launched into the International Space Station ISS. The mission represented the first launch of a private spacecraft to the ISS. The Dragon could transport 7,000 pounds of supplies, including food and clothing, but it barely moved around 1,200 pounds. The spacecraft spent three days getting to the station after entering orbit so that its different systems could be tested. Since that initial voyage in 2012, SpaceX has made 24 deliveries to the International Space Station. May 2022 is anticipated to be the month of their 25th visit. Blue Origin and SpaceX appear to have made more progress in terms of reliably launching rockets into space. 
Blue Origin vs. SpaceX Reusable Rockets Blue Origin Blue Origin completed a second test flight in 2015 after running into a technical problem during the initial test flight. Without any problems, the rocket touched down on the Earth. By this time, a competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin to be the first business to successfully recover a rocket for reuse had begun. Blue Origin was able to surpass SpaceX's previous record, even though SpaceX is renowned for its reusable Dragon 9 rockets. The first stage of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket was successfully recovered less than a month after Blue Origin accomplished this feat. By authorizing the use of booster rockets for many trips, both businesses were able to achieve their objective of making space travel more reliable and economical. SpaceX After the U.S. Space Shuttle program was shut down in 2011, the nation lost its ability to launch astronauts from its homeland. The Soyuz spacecraft's whole crew was launched from Russia. NASA began concentrating on the creation of technology that would restore the ability to launch from the United States. Robert Behnken, transported by this voyage on May 30, 2020, to the International Space Station. This was the Crew Dragon spacecraft's final test flight by SpaceX. Since that time, SpaceX has launched several missions to the ISS, some of which included larger crews. The company's ability to conduct human spaceflights safely was demonstrated by the Crew Dragon's successful mission. By working with NASA, SpaceX has advanced in the reusable rocket market. They not only succeeded in producing this apparatus, but they also regularly use it to further human spaceflight endeavors. Blue Origin vs. SpaceX Verdict In the early stages of development, it appeared that SpaceX was more interested in planet-wide exploration, whereas Blue Origin was more interested in space tourism. However, both businesses have demonstrated that they can accomplish their objectives. In this titanic struggle, SpaceX has quickly proven itself to be a viable commercial spaceflight enterprise. SpaceX has a sizable lead over Blue Origin due to the volume of flights it has successfully performed, including those to the International Space Station. Indeed, SpaceX's participation in the next missions of NASA's Artemis spacecraft solidifies the business's status as the world's leading private space company. Both companies have proven themselves to be formidable at achieving their goals, getting people off the ground, and returning them safely to Earth. In one very important respect, that is the only crucial measure for the success of a space program. The battle between these two businesses has ultimately increased the feasibility of spaceflight, which is a victory for humanity. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you for watching.